Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we captured Lugia. And this episode, let's go out and face the next legendary here. I think I'll go to the one that should be over here by the water. to the Oceanic Room. Let's put in the Oceanic Slate. Meet the legendary Pokemon Kyogre. Kyogre has appeared. So Kyogre, level 70. Hey, with the uh, wa pure water type. With the ability Drizzle. Oh, with the moves Ice Beam, Sheer Cold, Octa Ring, and Origin Pulse. While this Kyogre has Sheer Cold, a one hit KO move, unlike Articuno, it does not have any means to guarantee a hit if you're higher level than it. The annoying thing about the Kyogre, though, is the fact that it has Aqua Ring, which will allow it to heal constantly throughout the fight. And Aqua Ring never goes away. So as you can guess, it's going to get low health and then start recovering its health back. So it's going to be very annoying to capture. Thankfully, because it's water type, netballs are going to be your best friend for this fight. Yeah, but the fact that Kyogre did kind of slowly heal back what you deal to it is not fun, especially since Aqua Ring never goes away. One, two. I was about to say, if I catch it in one ball, after I say how, oh, how annoying it is to capture, especially since I remember it took a bit in my brilliant diamond let's play to capture you. Nice dodging, Mark. One, two. Rain and stop, so at the very least it won't have increased damage to its water moves if Origin Pulse hits. Two, three, ah! I looked away for a second, and when I didn't hear it burst out, I was like, oh, is it actually gonna get caught? One, two. And that was a kill. Okay, round two. Alright, let's try again. I thought that it had enough health that it could survive an attack and bring it back to red and like, nope. Die. Of 
course, the first thing it does is set up Aqua Ring. And it dies through a critical hit! So, round three, everybody! Okay, let's not get unlucky critical hits, shall we? Surprised you didn't go for um Aqua Ring. There we go, there's the Aqua Ring I was expecting. One, two, one. instant breakout. It should be high enough that it should survive in a night slash. One. Instant breakout. Stop with the instant breakout. Ooh, that was a critical hit too. Why the instant breakout? Well, goodbye Marf, because the game decided you needed to die. Or 
Why are you doing this instant breakout bullshit now? One. Hey. Revive Marf so you can gain experience if we are successful. Stop with the instant breakouts! What the hell, Kyogre? I don't know why the game's like, yeah, we're not even gonna have the ball wiggle anymore, we're just gonna have Kyogre immediately burst out. Oh my god, Kyogre! Stop instant bursting! Alright, enough time has gone by for timer balls. I'm gonna call it now. This Kyogre is gonna eventually struggle itself to death. That's where it looks like it's going to, because the game is being absolute bullshit and just making sure it bursts out out the moment it gets in the ball. Not even trying to wiggle anymore. And in case you're wondering, Struggle will do more recall than what Ocarina is capable of healing. Stop with the fucking instant burst out! Yeah, if I keep seeing it use Ocarina, then it's run out of PP for all its other moves, and it's gonna start eventually struggling.
some ways I'm hoping it at least gets a burn so oh it can be able to easily get, more easily be captured or at least a freeze good a burn so while it takes damage I think Aquarine will heal a majority of that so it should be a bit easier to capture One, two. One, two, three, got you. About time. Kyoga's data, data will be added to the Pokedex. It is said to have widened the seas by causing downpours. It has been asleep in a marine trench. And here is Kyogre's statue. But before you leave, a bunch of berries will appear. Agma berry, I believe these berries can only be gotten here, so make sure you plant them later on. That way you can continuously grow more. If I can figure out how to get to that one berry over there, there we go. Let's go get our Kyogre statue. What an amazing Pokemon you've caught! I'll give you a statue that looks just like it! Get the Kyogre statue. Thank you for showing me a Pokemon that comes to see the Raminous Roses. So with that, we'll end the episode here. In the next episode, we'll go after the next Legendary. So if you enjoyed this episode, do like the video as it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts of this episode. And share the video so more people can discover my content help the channel grow. I'll see you all next time. Later.